My name is Mark Kay. I'm the police chief for Garfield Heights. We wanted to reduce violent crime. We, look, we started this project about three years ago at this point. We said, how can we, can we reduce violent crime? Is that something that's possible? We spoke to numerous other agencies. We contacted Case Western Reserve. We partnered with them. We wanted to see, again, who has effectively reduced crime and had it stick long term. That was, a, that was our plan. I think you can get a, a temporary reduction with just the saturation and, and dumping more officers into a problem, but how are we going to fix it, correct it, and keep it down for the future? When we brainstormed, we came up the, with the idea of a task force, which was going to be we needed to take officers away from their patrol duties because when you're on patrol, you get bogged down with calls and everything else. So we wanted to remove them from patrol and just allow them to analyze data, look at crime statistics, and see if they could get ahead of crime trends in Garfield Heights. We found that a small percentage of people are committing a large percentage of the crimes. And so if you can address those, that group of people, um, even the people that are with them tend to go away, right? So it's not like they're committing the crimes, but they're also the leaders, so to speak, of 10 other people, 15 other people in the area. If you can target that one person, make it a, a good arrest on them, the other ones tend to move on too. Um, we've looked at, to start a drone program for some time now. We have six total. Two were bought with the grant and that really kicked off the project. This is an example of when we used um, the drone. Uh, it's actually the first deployment with this drone um, to locate someone that was involved with a stolen vehicle, fled from officers. Uh, we had gotten uh, one person detained, I believe, at that point in time, and this was the second person involved in this vehicle. So if you look right here in the screen, you can see the male running on the thermal camera. The officer kicks at the optical camera for a second, goes back to thermal. The resident comes out to confront why this person's in his yard, and now we can track the subject um, from the air, um, give an updated information to the officers where the person's running. It just slows everything down for everyone, and here you can see him hiding behind the, the garage. Officer's slowly walking up, take him to custody. Officer's slowly walking up, everything's slowed down, it's safe, safer for everyone. The other part we got, we have also have license plate readers in the city, so we partnered with Flock Safety. We have 19 license plate readers that basically cover all the ins and outs of the city. If you're coming or going from Garfield Heights and you were in a crime and we're looking for you in a car, we'd be able to find you. We also have surveillance cameras. We have them at, we're putting them up at nine different intersections. These are live streaming video cameras that go right back to our dispatch center. So those are up on a wall. Um, you see them all displayed and we're watching in real time nine intersections in our city. So that's been very helpful. Our target enforcement unit has been operating for 15 months since June of 2022. So the 15 months previous uh, versus the 15 months they've been in operation, we've seen a 33% reduction in seven categories of, of major crime. So we know um, um, police stats don't tell you everything, but we are very confident that what we've been doing has contributed to those numbers going down. Recently, the governor came to visit. Mm -hmm. What did that mean to you and your program to be acknowledged like that? Oh, it was great. Uh, uh, we don't certainly don't do it for acknowledgement, um, but we what we want to do is share this with anybody that wants to do the same thing. It's certainly not the only way to do it. Um, there's a million ways probably to re reduce crime in different programs, but it's a way and I think it's a repeatable way. You know, in a city of Garfield Heights, like they're 29,000 population, we have 54 officers, $1.3 million is a lot of money. So the fact that we got that, we kind of fell out of our chairs when we, we realized that was gonna happen, but it's been so helpful, that amount of money uh, is, is a game changer to us. We wouldn't have been able to get this program off the ground and we wouldn't be able to be successful with it without that money. So it's been great. Um, I know there's more funding coming up as the, the governor was letting us know. You know, we're going to be all over that because to get that money coming in, unfortunately at the end of the day, these, th these programs are resources. They cost money and they need to be funded. But with the funding, we feel like the sky's the limit.